Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I am so excited to share my latest journal with you. Um, this journal was right up my alley because I'm a paper lover and I love office supplies and school, the new school, whenever the school supplies come out. I rack my brain trying to give myself reasons to buy <laughs> the pretty notebooks and things. Um, they have at Dollar Tree such pretty composition books this year and at Walmart and everywhere and I, I'm trying to figure out a reason to give myself to buy some of those. I haven't bought any yet but I have bought some of the file folders to craft with so just having a uh, ball with that but this journal um, is an office themed journal and what it's made from is uh, I got this little notebook at an estate sale so this is this cover is what inspired me I love the color it reminds me of in uh, a file folder but it is vintage it's uh, from an estate sale apparently um, this man and woman that passed away had this notebook in their desk and they never used it. It's the same on both sides. I left it plain on the back because this is like a thick, I would describe it as cardstock, but um, it almost looks like, um, I, I guess it looks like a Pendaflex folder to me, the hanging files, or it looks almost look like looks like leather to me. But it's not. It's it's you know it's just an old notebook. It had lined paper in it, so it's a vintage lined paper. And I did use some of it in here. And at that same, I think it was that same estate sale, I found a book, uh, a word book. I think it was at that same estate sale. And it um, was where you just look up a word, and I'll show you the paper in here to see how to spell it like this right here this is one of the pages this is um, in the T section so you can see trusty trustful so it was just like not a dictionary it was just a word book where you learn you know and it was this size and you just looked up a word like to figure out how to spell it so and it was all too vintage as you can see it's got some age and the color of it so we're going to do a quick flip through. I made it into a little journal. It's um, about, let me see, I will measure it. It is um, a little over, uh, let's just say three inches. Actually, it's a little over three inches. And then it is a little over five and three quarters there, inches. Let's see if I can get it even. Yeah, it's almost six inches long there. And I just put this little piece of uh, sticker on the front. It says, by airmail, par avion in French. And it just seemed to go good with this color. It's kind of a navy blue with a kind of a light, a very light gold um, letters. So. We'll do a quick flip through here. I'll try to make it quick. I, I love this so much. I'll probably talk about it too much. But um, here inside the front cover and the back cover, I put this put these pockets made from a brown envelope. Um, this is from something I had in my office that we were done with. Um, it came with exhibit stickers in it. And I just like the look of it. It looks old. And it... Um, you know, I like the look of it with this cover. So I made pockets here on the inside. And what I did here was make a kind of a double pocket. Uh, I've got a, a tabbed index card here inside the first pocket. A little uh, flash card. B is for bird. And you can journal on the back of that. And then in the back pocket here, I've got another piece of ephemera. So you can see that's the back. If you can see it, um, try to show that better. Back there, and then in the front pocket there. So that is how that is. 
Let me get these back in here. So this is a piece of scrapbook paper that looks like ledger paper here. So it's kind of like a cardstock, some of that cardstock um, scrapbook paper. And then on the back I put a little piece of that envelope, the exhibit sticker envelope here as a tuck spot. And then another piece of scrapbook paper, cardstock paper that looks like, it kind of looks like um it looks like notebook paper but it has numbers on the side over here so it looks like kind of like a chart it has a check mark here where you check off your list make a list and check it off and it's blank on the back so lots of room for journaling and then this um, I put a few pieces of this stationery this is vintage stationery that I found somewhere at a thrift shop and it has a pencil on it and it says get to the point so a few pieces of that throughout here this is a uh, tuck spot with a uh, tag I made from this little typewriter piece here and that came out really cute. An actual piece of ledger paper here. This is a this is some of that paper that came with this notebook. You can see it's kind of um, it's not yellowed but it's not you know perfectly white so you can tell that it's old. And then this is a flip up that I made out of a post it so that can be moved around. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is um, hand sewn in with, um, you know, uh, this is a strong cord here that I use to uh, sew it in and bind it. And I like that dark cord with this black. This was already on the notebook here. I didn't put that on. That's how it came. And then I added the um, dark cord here to sew in the sew in the signature. Some of that word book, and I'll just flip through if you've already seen it. But um, this is a little tuck I made here with a little picture, and it's on backed with cardstock, so it's strong. And then this is a black uh, white picture that reminded me of I had it in my stash. And I picked it out for this journal because it reminded me, and it looks like a bunch of people taking an office picture. Uh, and it's in black and white, and it's old. It's old as far as their, what they're wearing. <laughs> you know, we don't dress like that now. <laughs> All the ladies with their hats and, and their dresses there. So, cute, cute picture. It's blank on the back, so you can write on the back if you want. And then, keep going. A uh, little tuck spot here with some of that. Uh, this is name and date and it's lined. And it's like a little piece of notebook paper, but it's cardstock. Uh, lined index card cut down to fit in this tuck spot in one of my sale tags that I made. And ledger word book. And here another tuck spot made with this ruler, kind of uh, from cardstock. Another picture I put in here I thought was appropriate. This looks like a pretty office building. I backed that on a manila folder and it's blank on the back. So that's a pretty office building lit up at night. And I did put a few tabs throughout here. These are, I made these tabs. They're made out of cardstock so they are strong. And uh, that's a red one. This tab is from that index card, this light blue tab here from that index card in the front. This is one that I put on. And then I used some stamping. I had some office stamps, some old office stamps in that are actually probably vintage, but believe it or not, they still work. Um, my office actually had them. My office has been around for a long time before I worked there, so they had some old stamps that they were getting rid of and they got new ones and the old ones still work so I brought them home and I use them in my journals and this is one of them here it's still as you can see it works really great nice and bright and this is graph paper I put in a little envelope here with one another, another one of those stamps from my office confidential and this is a tag I put on there I'm trying to see if I put anything in there I might try to add something in here uh, before I send this out. 
This is an old, um, just a piece of ephemera. I think I, I don't know if I had this in my stash or, you know what, I think this was in something I bought. That's right, this wasn't something I bought from like a thrift store or an estate sale. And it looks old. I think it was from that estate sale and it was tucked into a book I bought. So I stuck it in here because it is an old vintage piece of ephemera that's like a postcard that, it's not a postcard, but you know, it's um, a sales related card that was sent out in the mail. So I thought that was cool. I stuck that in there just for fun. There's lots of room for journaling and putting in whatever you want, writing and pictures and memories and everything. That's how I make my journals. And so we're in the center here with two pockets made from matte paper. I have tons of goodies in here. I'll take out this one. This is a plastic pouch that you can tuck in some little pictures or ephemera. This next thing is a file folder that I made. Can't get it in. <laughs> get in there. There we go. <laughs> and this is a little file folder that I made. It's got a tuck spot in the front. I don't know if I can do this right now. I think it's got a tuck spot in the front. Right here it's got a tuck spot. It's got a label here, a label there. And if you open it up, I've got a little flip up here with some graph paper. And this is some words to live by, some lined paper in here to write on. So and then on the back of the file folder, a tuck spot here with the little little tags that I made and a tuck spot on top also. So you can see tuck up and tuck on the bottom. So that's just some fun, some fun there. And then it's sewn here. You can cut off these strings if you don't like them. I've got a binder clip here just for fun. It's yellow and I've got a little tag hanging from a bulb clip here. So just a cute little t mini tag there. And then in here I just have a couple of goodies and one of the things is I don't want to, well I can't take it out. It's a um, vintage index card divider, the A through Z. This is the A right here. So that's tucked in there for you to do something with and have some fun. And going behind that binder clip there. Uh, let's see. The note that's the you know that line paper, all the line paper is here in here is the vintage paper from this notebook. And all the word paper is from that word, vintage word book. The other side of that card. This little side tuck here with a label that I made. It's from cardstock and it's um, got kind of architectural drawings on it. So I thought that was cool for an office theme journal. And this is a ruler cardstock tuck. Let's see, I think I'm skipping a page. Here we go. Some of that cardstock notebook paper and some of that stationery with this says anytime, anywhere, and this is um this is a little journaling card I made out of a an advertisement for an annual meeting. And I saw it in a magazine and I just kept it and then I when I was going through my ephemera for this journal I thought it was cool because it was office related um, as far as it was a meeting being uh, it was a meeting advertised for a seminar so and it's pretty so I put that in there and then more of that stationery this is um, a little tuck spot from that envelope that I showed you earlier this is a tag I made from a Rolodex packaging I recently got some some old Rolodex cards from a thrift shop. This was part of the packaging, so I made, I thought it was, I don't know, I like the color of it, so I made a tag out of it and put graph, pa graph paper on the back so you can write on it. And then here's another one of those stamps. This one says draft. And this says, here's another draft. I stamped on a manila folder and cut it out and made a little label out of it. This one says received. I 
have several of these fold outs in here so you have plenty of room for writing another one of my labels that I made this one says received and another tab that I made there Okay, and this is it's a little bunch of goodies here in this tuck spot and it is this is made from matte paper but I've just got some SNH green stamps here a little piece of um, an envelope with the uh, postmarks on it and some stamps some used postage stamps two different ones there for you to have fun with I made a tag out of a return receipt uh, the green card that you send with certified mail <laughs> and that's a tuck spot there made from that exhibit envelope and then we're at the back in the back I have a if I can get it out a little one of those Rolodex cards and this one is pretty cool it does have the word Rolodex on it and it has a name telephone number fax number email address and cell number so that is cool because a lot of them it has lines on the back too which I thought these were really cool because most of them I've seen are blank and then this pocket also is a double pocket here in the back and here in the front there's a double pocket here so this will be in there for you or for whoever gets this if I can get it back in <laughs> Get in there. Well, I have to get that in a minute. I can't get it right now. So anyway, that's it. I hope you like that. I loved making it. I, I would like to make more. Um, it's super fun, and I have, of course, more of these types of papers. So it's pretty chunky. I haven't counted the pages yet, but I've already got it in my Etsy shop, and um, I will link it below. So I don't want to keep you anymore, but. Um, hope you all enjoyed that flip through and I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for any kind comments and just I was going to remind you in this video when uh, if you subscribe a little bell will show up on the right hand side of the subscribe and then you click that bell and you'll get notifications of my video so you'll know most of my videos are on my uh, flip throughs. So you'll know when I have a new journal in my shop that way too. So thanks for watching and have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.